Harry Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son, Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger! Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend, Ron Weasley, and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before travelling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister Ginny and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author Gilderoy Lockhart was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not! It is! It's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you love that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Harry! We've missed the train! The Hogwarts Express is five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. OK, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Uh-oh, I think the car's cutting out. Come on, car. Come on. Stop, stop, stop! open chest with the Alahamora spell. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. Alahamora! <laughs> to climb over low walls, uh, I just have to walk uh, into them. Uh, I can uh, use this gargoyle as a target to activate the Lumos spell. Lumos! This is a save book. Walk into them to save the current state of your game. When you faint, your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save book.
I bet I can pass for Plendo on that luggage to push it to that ledge. Lependo! replenish some of your stamina. They also taste delicious. Good job, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendo on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. Flipendo! Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. this flying car. Anyway, we'd better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Not only does the moon cast light, it also reveals magically hidden things. Those are Bertie Bot's every flavour beans. I should collect as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. Harry, you need to get onto this ledge over here. Cast Flapendo to push the block towards me, and then use it to jump to this ledge. Flapendo! Flapendo! This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 new bronze cards, you are given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on! We'd better get up to the school! Uh. I hope Ron didn't get lost. This door is locked tight.
it's a nice night now the rain has stopped. to the right, remember? portrait of the fat lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please. We're tired. Could you just tell us what the password is? Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. Fred, myself and several of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? They're hidden all over the place. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. It'll be a pleasure doing business with you, I'm sure. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. Good morning, Harry! It's time for our Defence Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defence Against the Dark Arts on the third floor. Follow us. Flipendo! Hurry, Harry. We'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. Hello, Harry. Oh, hello, Nick. Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. 
Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, you'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 silver wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds. No getting through this door just now. You remember where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter and a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. What was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. I must have been hearing things. Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, Third Class, Honorary Member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictus Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish Pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky! Clear your mind completely, Harry. Don't even think about me. And concentrate on the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? Round one, begin. Very close. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin.
Very close. Keep it up. You're almost as good as me. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Begin. Very close. Keep it up. You're almost as good as me. Once again. Fabulous work, Harry! Aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned, Rick, to Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Welcome, Harry Potter, to my famous Rick to Sempra challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Try and find them all. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ready to begin? Good luck! Three, two, one, go! Fire crabs are nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of... Uh, well, at you. You can stun them by casting Richter Zebra on them. Then you can use Flipendo to push them around. This indicates that a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. That's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Rictus Emperor will stun them, and then you can use Flipendo to push them around. <sighs> Rick 
to Sempra! Flipendo! Flipendo! Rick to Sempra! Flipendo! Gnomes are a greedy lot. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them. Flipendo! 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 Flipendo!
Emperor! Flipendo! Rictus Emperor! Alahamora! Flipendo! 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 Alahamora! Flipendo! Rictus Emperor! Flipendo!
Professor Potter, you have completed my Rick to Sempra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Trade, Harry. How about a trade, Harry? What do you have? I have a silver wizard card. Never even shuffled before. Press on the yes button to accept the trade, or the no button to decline. You're passing up a bargain, but have it your way. Harry, the weekly house point ceremony is about to start. Follow me and I'll show you where it is. Good morning, everyone. For those of you who have trouble remembering names, I am Albus Dumbledore, Headmaster of Hogwarts. Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Well, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the Bonus Bean Room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. Glad I found you. Hello, Wood. Time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course, you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our Seeker to catch the Golden Snitch before the enemy Seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a Snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough?
All right then. You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up and down. Quidditch armor will help soften blows during the match. Being hit by a bludger, pushed by the other seeker or running into things can slow you down and put you further behind the snitch. Press the left mouse button to catch the snitch. Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the bludgers and the other seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the snitch. Don't worry, they'll take it easy on you. You'll automatically close in on the snitch. If you have enough beams, you can buy Quidditch upgrades from Fred and George. Remember, Harry, you'll not put your hand out till the enemy seeker is out of the way. That's it, Harry. Give them a good nudge so you can catch the snitch. That's it, Harry. Stay right on the snitch. You've almost got it. When you're close to another player, you can use your action key to kick or shove them. Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished it, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it! I booked the pitch for today! Hey! They've got new brooms and, and it looks like... Yes, they are! They're Nimbus 2001s! Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. You pay for that one, Malfoy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. Mudblood, the nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. This leads to the dungeons. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld Potion, Flubberworm Mucus and Wigan Tree Bark. Take them out. Alabama! Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated.
Where are you going, boy? Get back over here and complete your lesson. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wiganweld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wiganweld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wiganweld potions can be made, and the ingredients, flobberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flobberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flobberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snape comes out. What was that? What was what? That voice! It was coming from over there! Come on! What's going on? Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on a wall. Rumors and speculation spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. be late for charms. Coming, Hermione. Charms class. Today, we shall be learning the Scourge charm. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts. Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff and Rowena Ravenclaw. 
Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day, Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward and demonstrate Scourge for the class. Glad to, Professor. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets, Balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Round one, go. Done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, go! Well done! You've completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you'll find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ectoplasm is an unpleasant greenish substance left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. Also cast Scourge to free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. Scourge! 
Ectoplasm takes away some of your stamina. No! The longer you're in contact no! with ectoplasm, the more stamina no! you lose. I like your name. It rhymes with so many insulting things. Ah! Scope! Ah! Scope! Ah! Scope! Ah! Scope! Scope! Scope!
Cobra! Flip him low! Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite, so try to avoid them. Rictus Emperor will stun them. Rictus Emperor!
Mr. Potter, you've completed my Scourge Challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. The weekly house point ceremony is starting soon. about a trade, Harry. What do you have? I have a silver wizard card. Never even shuffled before. <laughs> your purchase will make you the envy of your friends, Harry. Sorry, I've run out of stock. You'll have to come back later. Sorry, I've run out of stock. You'll have to come back later. Hello everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus beam room. to investigate this crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Do you really think there's a chamber of secrets? I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs. Norris. I 
thing that whatever attacked her might not be human. Here we are at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around since we're already here and Filch isn't. Remember all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? From in there. Let's have a look. I can't go in there. That's a girl's bathroom. Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. She haunts one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. Who can the heir of Slytherin be, though? Who'd want to frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts? Draco Malfoy. You heard him call Hermione a mudblood. But how do we prove it's him? We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realising it's us. <laughs> but that's impossible! All we need would be some Polyjuice Potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. No one would realise it was really Harry. Two of the potion ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered bicorn horn and shredded boomslang skin. Harry, I'll need you to get me some. Any idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. I'm not sure about the shredded boomslang skin. I'll need to check at the library. Lovely. Molting boomslangs are corridors full of goo. This should be enjoyable.
Sentra! Rick to Sentra! Lependo! Rick to Sentra! Rick to Sentra! Rick to Sentra! Lependo! Lependo! Lependo!
Rip to Sembra! Rip to Sembra! I'm in the potions classroom. Better keep an eye out for Snape. Hi, would you consider a trade? Oi, Harry, want a trade? What do you have? I have Wigan tree bark, still moist with dew. As you wish, but these are becoming hard to find. What do you have? I have flobberworm mucus. Perhaps I'll have something you'll like next time. Hi, Harry. Hi. I found some bicorn horn to add to the potion. Great. I'm still trying to find the location of the next ingredient, but I should have it tracked down soon. In the meantime, I'll go add this to the potion. They're starting a duelling club and the first meeting is today. That could be interesting. Come to the Great Hall if you want to learn how to duel. Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. I started Dueling Club to train you to defend yourselves. Dueling Club meets every day in the antechamber just outside the Great Hall. In Wizard Dueling, the object of the exercise is to incapacitate your opponent. There are three spells you may use in Dueling. Rick to Sempra which knocks your opponent back and reduces stamina. Mimble Wimble, which prevents your opponent from accurately casting their next spell. Expelliarmus, which reflects spells back onto your opponent. To select a spell, scroll through them by using the space bar or the right mouse button. To cast a selected spell on your opponent, press the left mouse button. You may build up the strength of Richter Sempra and Mimble Wimble by holding the left mouse button down. Note that potion drinking and jumping during duels are prohibited. A pledge of Bertie Bot's every flavoured beans is required to duel. The victor wins the opponent's beans. To challenge a student to a duel, simply walk up to them. If you have enough beans, you will be invited to duel. My assistant, Professor Snape. I am your colleague, not your assistant. 
has informed me that he knows a tiny bit about dueling and has graciously agreed to monitor the duels. And now for a brief demonstration, Mr. Potter, if you'd like to partner up with Mr. Weasley... I don't think so. Time to split up the dream team, I think. Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. Thrashing, you will be a treat, Potter. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three. Scared, Potter. You wish. One, two, three. Today, Potter, you will have the pleasure of dueling the great <coughs> Slytherin house. Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Oh. Mimblewimble! 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 Get to you. Strike him back. Rick to Sempra. Rick to Sempra. Rick to Sempra. Rick to Sempra. Slytherin takes an undeserved hit. Rick to Sempra. Mimblewimble. 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 Snuck that one in, didn't you, Potter? Rick to Sempra. Rick to Sempra. Mimblewimble! 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 Rick to Sempra! 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 Mimblewimble! Rick to Sempra! 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 Don't let that Potter get to you! Strike him back! Sortia! Leave me alone! What was that? Did Harry just hiss? Oh my! That couldn't have been. It couldn't be. Not him. You're a parcel mouth, Harry. You can talk to snakes. Why does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Oh, no. Exactly. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great-great-great-great-grandson or something. But I'm not. Anyway, we'll see you later, Harry. Bye, Harry. Harry lay awake for hours that night wondering, could he be a descendant of Salazar Slytherin? I won't be seeing you in Herbology class. I'll be in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom working on the Polyjuice Potion. I can't believe Hermione is skipping class. Well, we better get outside to Herbology, Harry. Come on. Just 
didn't. What do you have? I have wiggle tree bark, free of impurities and bark beetles. You know best, Harry. Would you be interested in... What do you have? I have a silver wizard card, guaranteed not to tarnish. Thank you, Harry. We value your patronage. I haven't got anything to trade at the moment. Come back later when I've had a chance to replenish my stock. Welcome to second year Herbology, everyone. And for those of you who have forgotten, I am Professor Sprout. Let's dig right in, shall we? Today, I'll teach you Diffundo, the severing charm. Harry Potter, would you like to plant your feet in front of class and be the first to learn the spell? I'd be glad to, Professor Sprout. Taking a leaf from Hermione's book, aren't you? Now, Mr. Potter, please fix your gaze on the symbol in front of you. See the pointer? It's about to move its way around the shape. When the pointer passes directly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key. This exercise is in three parts. In each part, you must be accurate in order to progress. Ready to try? Round one. Go. Well done, Harry. You've moved on to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Well done, Harry. You've moved on to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Go. Well done! You've completed all of the exercises in top form. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You have learnt Diffindo, Harry. We've planted a seed of greatness here today. Now let's move on to the Diffindo challenge. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Diffindo challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found in a hallway just above you. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Some vines and plant growth can cover doorways and openings. You can use Defindo to cut through them and clear your path.
Of a cloud of poisonous gas, Harry. Avoid them or use Defindo to cut their stems. Defindo! 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 Once you've separated a book plant from its stem, you can pick it up and throw it. Spiky, prickly plants shoot their spikes when you get too close. Avoid them or use Defindo to cut their stems. Defindo! 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 Flipendo! Flipendo! Oh. <sighs> 
it on that spider web. Defito!
venomous tentacular. Don't let them get near you. Their bite is very nasty. If the riddle could be used to both stun the creature and sever its eyes. It's the guard wigging trees. Cast to window on them to make them disappear. Defendo! Defendo! 
You have completed my Defindo challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. the shredded boomslang skin out in the greenhouse. Follow me, Harry.
Oh, sorry. I just sold my very last item a moment ago. Here's the greenhouse. It's always so warm in here. House is right inside that door, Harry. I'll watch out for Professor Sprout. Good luck.
This is a particularly nasty variety of spider. Their bites are extremely poisonous, so stay away and cast Rictusempra to stun them. Rictusempra! Hermione, I found a bunch of shredded boom slang skin for the polyjuice potion. That's great, Harry. I'll go add it to the potion right now. The weekly ass point ceremony is starting soon. You remember where it is, don't you? Hello everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. In the second week of December, Professor McGonagall collected the names of those who would be staying at school over Christmas. Harry, Ron and Hermione signed up. They heard that Malfoy was staying, which struck them as very suspicious. The Christmas holiday would be the perfect time to use the Polyjuice Potion and try to worm a confession out of Draco. I ought to head up to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and see how the Polyjuice Potion is coming on. I hope Hermione doesn't need any more ingredients. How about a trade, Harry? What 
do you have? I have Wigan Tree Bark. You're passing up a bargain, but have it your way. Not another attack! Mr. Potter? What's happened to you? I don't know! I found him like this! Follow me, E. Potter. <laughs> Professor, I swear I didn't... This is out of my hands, Potter. This door, please, Potter. Must be Professor Dumbledore's study. It's the old school sorting hat. I wondered where it was kept. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, you were particularly difficult to place, but I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. Oh my gosh!
That bird looks sick. It burst into flames! Good evening, Harry. Professor! Your bird! I couldn't do anything! He just caught fire! Fox is a phoenix, Harry. Phoenixes burst into flame when it is time for them to die and are reborn from their ashes. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. Their tears have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. Professor, I just want you to know that it wasn't me. I'm not the attacker. I know you're not, but I still want to talk to you. I must ask you, Harry, whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Anything at all? No, there isn't anything, Professor. Very well, if you're sure. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor! There you are! You need to go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Hermione is waiting for you! Here's the defense against the Dark Alamora! Arts classroom. Alamora! Follow me, Harry! uncomfortable being in the girls' bathroom. I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead. She's very touchy, isn't she? What's that horrible stink, Hermione? That will be the Polyjuice Potion. Now, we need one more ingredient for the potion to be completely effective. We're going to need a bit of goil to complete the potion. That's disgusting! But how will I find Goyle? At this time, he's usually filling his face down in the dungeons. All you need to do is follow the trail of food, get the bit of Goyle and bring it back here to me. Good luck, Harry! Uh, thanks, Ron. Follow him. Yeah. 
There he is, sleeping like a particularly ugly baby. Hermione in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Go. Rather you than me. Thanks. Oh. Harry. Ugh, that is disgusting. Are you okay, uh, Harry? Yeah, I'm 
fine. Go down to the dungeons and see if you can get into the common room. Okay. Good luck. Uh, Harry?
Pure blood. Now what's the password? I bet I can use that to get into the Slytherin common room.
Have fun, Goyle. <laughs> Pardon me. It's you, Goyle. You don't seem yourself today. There you are, Goyle. I've been looking all over for you. Come on, follow me. You know, Goyle, I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush up all these attacks. He'll be sacked if they don't stop soon. And as for St. Potter, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's Slytherin's heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. 
How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Going where? Uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it. The hospital wing. I've got a stomachache and I need to get something for it. Go on then. I don't want you hanging around here all night with that pained expression on your face. You don't want us to call for Professor Snape, do you? I'd better try to keep my distance from the Slytherins and sneak out. If they spot me in here, who knows what might happen? Who knows what might happen? I thought I saw a Gryffindor in here. Harry Potter? No, he can't be in not here. Right. Professor S The news that nearly headless Nick had been petrified spread through the school like a dark cloud when everyone got back from the holiday. If a ghost can be petrified, the students thought, then no one is safe. The first years moved around the castle in tight-knit groups, afraid they might be attacked if they ventured out alone. A furious trade in talismans, amulets, and other protective devices was sweeping the school. In the meantime, Harry had learned that Draco Malfoy was not the heir of Slytherin. But if it isn't Draco, and it isn't Harry, who is it? Hurry, Harry. It's time for our defense against the Dark Arts class. Not his class again. It'll be wonderful! Professor Lockhart is going to teach us Spongify! Hurry! We don't want to be late for Professor Lockhart's class! What do you mean, we? Welcome back to your favourite class, Gryffindor students. Please, hold your applause while we learn to spongify. Harry Potter, you look eager to soak up a little knowledge. 
Step up in front of class and we'll show them how it's done. Lucky me. Concentrate on the symbol before you. And don't let my good looks distract you. The wand that appears in front of you is going to move around the shape. When the wand is positioned perfectly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key to hit the target. There are three parts to this exercise. In each part, you must correctly and accurately hit all of the points in order to go forward. Round one, begin! Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin! Great work, lad! You've completed all of the exercises! Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've done it, Harry! You have mastered Spongify! So now, you can take the Spongify challenge. Welcome, Harry Potter, to the Spongify challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors above us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Spongify carpets are hidden throughout Hogwarts. You can cast Spongify on them and they will propel you to a higher area when you jump on them. Look for this symbol on the ground to find hidden Spongify pads. are vicious little creatures. Like gnomes, you use flipendo to knock them back. Then you can pick them up and throw them into a hole to get rid of them. Flipendo! 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 Uh -oh. Uh. 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 Uh.
Sephra! Rick to Sephra! Spongify! Oh. <sighs> 
Spy. Rick to Sephra. Divindo. Rick to Sephra. my sponge if I challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Harry, the weekly health point ceremony is about to start. You don't want to miss it. Would you be interested in trading? Hello everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Hmm. It appears that Slytherin is in the lead. Draco, looks like you get a chance to collect some beans. How many times have you been in, Potter? Better luck next time. has really upset Moaning Myrtle. You mean more than usual? I could hear her wailing all the way from the grand staircase. And the court outside her bathroom is flooded again. You don't think someone else has been attacked, do you? Anything could have happened. Come on, let's go see what's up. Would you be interested in trading? something else at me? Someone threw something at you? Yes, they did. It's over there. Careful! My dad told me some books can be very dangerous. It looks like an old diary. Belonged to T.M. Riddle. Whoever he was, he didn't write in it. It's completely blank. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber and he was expelled. I can show you if you like. I can take you inside my memory of the night of my court. 
Harry was entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. Come on, gotta get you out of here. Come on now, in the box, it's all right. Come on out, there you go. Evening, Rubeus. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all over. I don't think you meant to kill anyone, but monsters don't make good pets. It never killed no one. Come on, the least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. Stand aside. No! Harry had always known that Hagrid had an unfortunate liking for large, monstrous creatures. But he was equally certain that Hagrid would never mean to kill anybody. Riddle might have got the wrong person. Maybe some other monster was attacking people. How many monsters do you think this place can hold? We always knew Hagrid was expelled. And the attacks must have stopped then. Otherwise, Riddle wouldn't have got his award. Riddle's diary! It's gone! What? But only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. I just heard it again. Didn't you? I didn't hear anything. Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. But McGonagall said we have to stay in here unless we're in class. And I've got to talk to Hagrid. If he set the monster loose last time, he knows how to get inside the Chamber of Secrets. Hagrid's hut is out in the grounds, Harry. But you know that. Follow me, Harry. someone who looks very much like Lucius Malfoy coming into Hagrid's heart. Bad business, Hagrid. A very bad business indeed. Things have gone far enough. As chairman of the school governors, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? The way to where? Not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. But all twelve of the governors feel it's time for you to step aside. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I will only truly have left this school when none here are loyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Of course, if anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. 
All right, I'm coming. We're in trouble now. Oh, Dumbledore. There'll be an attack a day with him gone. Look, over there. Looks like they're heading for the Forbidden Forest. This ledge is too high to climb. I'll give you a leg up, Harry. You'll have to brave the Forbidden Forest alone. Good luck, Harry. Wow! 
human is here. Is it Hagrid? No, I'm a friend of Hagrid's. I came to help him. Why does Hagrid need help? Some say that Hagrid released a monster long ago in Hogwarts. It killed someone and it must have come back. It was me he released, but he sent me away. I've never gone back, and I've never heard anyone in Hogwarts. So you're not the Guardian of the Chamber of Secrets? No, the Guardian is an ancient creature that spiders fear above all others. It killed a girl in the bathroom, not I. Thank you. I think I should go now. No, you won't. I cannot deny my children such fresh meat. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. If I cut those support webs with Defindo, I bet Aragog will fall into the pit. Bite him, my children! Rick to Sempro! Rick to Sempro! Defindo! Rick to Sempro! I learned something from Lockhart's class. Rictus Emperor. Amazing work, Harry. And look, I found Dad's car. But Hermione has been attacked. She's been petrified like the others. Oh no! We should get back as soon as possible. Climb in! I'd better not let Madame Pomfrey see me. There's Hermione. What's that she's holding? It's a note. In her handwriting. Here's what it says. Of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land, there is none more deadly than the basilisk, the king of serpents. This snake, which may reach gigantic size and live hundreds of years, is born from a chicken's egg, hatched beneath a toad. Aside from its deadly and venomous fangs, the basilisk has a horrible stare, and all who are fixed with the beam of its eye shall suffer instant death. Spiders flee from the basilisk, for it is their mortal enemy. The basilisk flees only from the crowing of the rooster, which is fatal to it. But how's the basilisk been getting around the place? A giant snake! Someone would have seen! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing! I've been hearing that voice inside the walls. That girl who died. 
Aragog said she was found in a bathroom. What if she never left the bathroom? What if she's still there? You don't think. Not moaning myrtle. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's in Moaning, Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. bathroom? All students are to return to their house dormitories at once. All teachers return to the staff room immediately, please. Oh no! Not another attack! Yes, there had been another attack. The worst one yet. This time, someone had disappeared. It was Ginny Weasley, and another message was left on a wall. It said, her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts would surely close now. Professor Lockhart had been given the task of rescuing Ginny, but Ron and Harry were beside themselves with worry. They had to do something. Hurry, Harry! We have to save Ginny! We need to have a plan. I'll go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and try to find the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. And I'll go find Lockhart. It wouldn't surprise me if he was trying to sneak out of Hogwarts. What do you want this time? To ask you how you died. You're the first one who ever asked. I died in this very stall. I remember it so well. The door was locked and I was crying because Olive Hornby had teased me about my glasses. Then I heard somebody come in. They said something odd, in a different language, I think. It was a boy speaking. So, I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use his own bathroom, and then I died. Where was this boy standing? Over there by the sinks. One of them has never worked, not as long as I've been here. I wonder if that's where the entrance to the chain is. Open! Open! That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Open! That's got it. Got him. He was packed and ready to... What's that? I think it's the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. 
Well then, you won't be needing me. Cheers, boys. Have to go warm up my broom. You're not through yet. Down you go. No! Come on, Harry. This is it. I know. No dawdling, Harry. Ugh. Harry! There's something up there. I... I feel faint. The adventure ends here, boys. Run! Say goodbye to your memories. Obliviate! Ron! Are you okay? Ron! I'm here! I'm okay! Go some good, Harry! Wait there with Lockhart. If I'm not back in an hour... Anyway, see you in a bit.
Emperor! Richest Emperor! Richest Emperor! Wake up! She won't wake. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive. 
but only just. Little Ginny's been writing in my old diary for months. She poured out her soul to me. It made me stronger until I had enough power to pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets, just as I had long ago, before I became Lord Voldemort. No! <laughs> it is me, Harry. Ginny told me all about you. I'm afraid that your second year magic tricks will be worthless against the power of the greatest sorcerer in the world. The greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is gone. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's match the powers of Tom Riddle, heir of Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. That's a phoenix. Forks! A sword from Dumbledore. No doubt afraid to come himself. Well, it won't save you, Harry Potter. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four.
I wanted to tell you. It was me, Harry. But I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's all right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. Hello, Harry. Professor Dumbledore! I thought you'd been suspended. Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me. But they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone, and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. What about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic after him. About Professor Lockhart, I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear. What will he think about, now that he can't think about himself? Just don't give his job to Professor Snape. He's too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in a girl's bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. When you've got your friends to help you, you can accomplish anything, and nothing is too awful. Well, almost nothing. Looking like Goyle came close. There's a banquet waiting for you downstairs. What do you propose for the first toast? To friendship. Loyalty. And courage. But to friendship most of all. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal with only a few small differences. Defence against the dark arts classes were cancelled and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Weasley was perfectly happy again. This is our last day at Hogwarts. Yeah. The only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. If you have anything you want to do at Hogwarts, you'd better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. Sorry, no time to... Attention, please. Students, attention. The headmaster wants to address you. Silence. It isn't too late to lose house points, you know. This House Cup ceremony brings the school year to an end. And an eventful year it was. Without further ado, I shall now present the cup to the Hogwarts house with the most points. Think we'll take it again this year? After you and Harry saved Hogwarts, I should think so. In fourth place, Ravenclaw. Thank you for not saying last place. In third place, 
Hufflepuff. Thank you. We find finishing in the middle to be quite adequate. And now for the second place house. It'll be you, Gryffindors. You're naturally second best. You won't steal the house cup from Slytherin like you did last year. After barely escaping disqualification, Slytherin... What? That means... First place, and the house cup goes to Gryffindor. Yes! We did it again!